Welcome into the Extra Point presented by Corner Pub in Brentwood on 710 Old Rigger Boulevard. For Nashville's best meat and threes, craft beers, and more, the neighborhood meets at the corner. And Zach, give me Tennessee football's biggest strength going into 2017. Going into 2017, you know what? I yeah. got to go with the backbone of the university, and that is the Tennessee volunteer fan base. The fan base. The fan base is the only reliable thing that I got. <laughs> I mean, I know that they're going to show up in Neyland. I okay. know that they're going to tailgate their heart out. I know that huh. I know that they're going to hold the football program accountable if Butch do Jones doesn't give them what they deserve and what they need. If they're paying them the amount of money, okay. he needs to give them some wins. So I know that they'll come with pitchforks if he doesn't do it. So I'm going to say the most reliable thing is the Tennessee fan base. I know that that's it. It's a bad sign for Tennessee's football team. He didn't ask me if it was a good or a bad no, sign. I know. I'm just making a, an observation off of your biggest strength is the, the fan base. Well, I'm going to stick to what the homework assignment was. What's the biggest strength of the football team for 2017? I think it's John Kelly. He's, he's the best uh, offensive weapon they have coming back, the most consistent offensive weapon coming back. You might say Juwan Jennings is a, a freak athlete and all that. That's true. He might be a better safety than he is a wide receiver, and he's really only played two years at wideout. John Kelly can be a bona fide running back in the SEC, averaged well over six yards per carry last year in minimal duty uh, with Tennessee at the end of the season. So I really like what John Kelly brings. The offense is going to have to go where he goes because you're breaking in a brand new quarterback and a brand new offensive coordinator. Yeah, got to take the pressure off whether it's Quentin Dorney or Jared Garantano. And one got to take do the that, pressure off the fan base too, right? Well, well, the fan base is the strongest thing you got. <laughs> I mean, they're going to be there. That's what I'm saying. I don't yeah. know. I don't really know what John Kelly is going to be. He hasn't shown me because he was behind Kamara and Hurd last year. Right. Who the hell are these quarterbacks? We haven't really seen them in good, solid action over four quarters. You got brand new players on defense. The only thing that's oh, yeah. the same is the off or the the head coach and the defensive coordinator from last year. I feel like that's the fan base though has been the same. That's the strongest because <laughs> Neyland Stadium and here's where I'm saying okay. Neyland Stadium is a home field advantage. For sure. I will give credit where credit is due. So if they can steal a win based on a momentum swing, second half against Florida last year, right? They carried that over into a win. I think that's a strength. All right, that's fine. And that's today's Extra Point presented by Corner Pub in Brentwood on A to Z Sports